ICTPS1 Reactive Sealer is a hybrid sealer combining the benefits of a reactive penetrating sealer and a micro coating technology together into one single product. This sealer provides excellent stain and abrasion resistance, requiring very minimal maintenance for years of quality use and abuse. Before detailed instructions, let's cover some basics about sealers on concrete surfaces. It is very important that the concrete is properly prepared. It should be properly cured, properly processed, also clean and dry. The ideal temperature for applying any sealer is between 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. In cooler weather or lower temperature shops, a propane torch can be used to raise the surface temperature of the concrete piece. Let's move into the first primer application. Begin by preparing a mixture of one part PS1 with one part water. Pouring the 50-50 mix into a spray bottle allows for easier application. Dampen a microfiber sponge with clean water. Pour some of the 50-50 PS1 water mixture onto the surface of the concrete piece. Using the damp microfiber sponge, spread the mixture across the entire surface until it is fully covered with a clear film of sealer. Continue to spray and wipe the mixture onto the surface, maintaining an even thin film for 10 minutes. Be sure the sealer does not puddle or dry out. Make sure to keep the sealer application thin. A good mantra statement is, thin to win. Squeeze out any excess material from the microfiber sponge and even out the excess material that remains on the surface of the concrete. After this 10 minutes has passed, allow the material to dry for an additional 30 minutes. The second primer application is like the first. Begin by dampening a microfiber sponge with clean water. Lightly spray a thin coat of the PS1 and water mixture onto the sponge as well as the concrete surface. Wipe the mixture over the concrete surface to achieve an evenly thin but wet film of sealer. This time you will keep the surface wet for five minutes. You will then allow the second primer application to dry for 30 minutes. As an option, you can apply additional primer applications using full strength PS1, no water mixed in. This is usually one or two applications keeping the surface wet for only one minute. Continuous wiping helps work the sealer into the surface and into any pinholes that may remain. Allow 30 minutes of dry time between applications. Once the prime applications have been completed, wait at least two to three hours before moving on to the finish applications. Remember that when you're priming, you're adding water into the concrete. ICT PS1, like many sealers, must dry for it to begin cross-linking, which is critical to achieve the stain and scratch resistance that it offers. Moisture in the concrete and moisture from previous coats of sealer will slow curing, as will cold and damp working environments. Best practice is to be patient and wait longer. Now we will move on to stage two, the PS1 finish applications. Here you will be using full strength PS1 sealer, 100% no mixing with water. Load the PS1 into a spray bottle. Dampen a microfiber sponge with clean water. Lightly spray a thin coat of PS1 onto the sponge and onto the concrete surface. The finish application is applied in methods like the primer steps, except each coat of finish needs to be kept wet for only about one minute. Wipe the PS1 over the concrete surface to achieve a thin, evenly wet film of sealer, keeping the surface wet for one minute. Allow the finish application to dry for an additional 30 minutes. Repeat these steps from one to no more than three applications. The number of finish applications will depend on the stain resistance required for the project. One application for surfaces that will see average use from expected staining agents, up to three applications for surfaces that will see high use and exposure, such as commercial kitchens. Allow the freshly applied primer and finish application to cure for a minimum of two hours before proceeding to stage three, the clean and set application. The method of application for clean and set is quite simple. Dampen a paper towel with clean and set, then evenly wipe the dampened towel over all sealed surfaces. Applying clean and set activates the early water repellency, hardness, and scratch resistance of the freshly sealed surface. Allow the vapor residue to dry on the surface. After that residue is dried, use a clean cloth and water to wipe down the surfaces, removing any residual clean and set. And there you have it, sealing your concrete piece with PS1. For additional support and information, please visit our website, www.buddyroads.com.